dry, it's level, and I think it's good to go. Hi, Steve, Suffolk Sifter. Had a real good bit of luck here. A real stroke of luck, I'll show you. That there field, over there, I just come out, I thought, well, where shall I detect now where there's no stubble? And I thought, there's stubble everywhere, except that one field. But, come with me. There's a field here, and I'll just talk to the very nice person driving the piece of equipment. Uh, nice big green tractor with a sumo on the back and uh, basically got tines that go under the ground and then surface rollers and I don't know if you can see this I've got the wrong lens on I've got my normal lens all this has just been nicely turned up nicely fluffy it's dry it's level and I think it's good to go I just thought better ask just before I jump all over it in case it's been direct drilled and it's not been drilled yet and it won't be drilled for whoops a little while we've got free rain on this field but we're going to see how we get on thanks for joining me i'm quite chuffed and uh, we're going to get kitted up because i'm really excited and i'm going to take you on that field and we're going to have a blast fingers crossed after the last couple of videos we find some goodies and i'd just like to say a humongous thank you to all my latest subscribers of which i've had quite a few thank you very much for all you new subscribers your names will scroll from a bottom to top at the end of the video so thanks very much, and I appreciate each and every one of you. Right, here we go then. I'm going to be running hot, not literally, but the program hot to start with to see what happens. But this is the field in question. And it's a stroke of luck really, this field has actually just been done, just been sumo. You know, it's almost too good to walk on. Not being, not being funny, I could use a trowel to get in here. Just look, look at that, look at that, lovely. Well, I've got no excuses. So anywho, thanks for joining me. And if I find anything, you'll be the first to know. Right, I've decided to change over to Gary's Ultimate. It's uh, uh, the tones for Good Tiger. It's just a little bit more crisper. And I've got a nice uh, 71. Uh, and that's a, well, just a button. But, uh, eye perfectly intact. Little silver button well not silver silver but a little plain button the ground is fantastic you know you can't wish for any more i mean you, you get your spade on there and just go and it's in you know so fluffy and absolutely fantastic fingers crossed we can find some more stuff okay right nice and loud on ultimate i've um Put the frequency as high up as it can go, so it's currently running at about 17, 7.30. There's a nice signal down there. Okay, a knife through butter. It's a bit wee breezy up here. Okay, well I've got it out on the first spade. Let's see what we've got. What's in here? <laughs> we've got fans going rubbish. Oh god. Yes, rubbish. It's a spoon handle. Got markings on it, but I won't hold my breath for being silver. Doubt you could hear I uh, see it, but um certainly could hear it. It's uh, a friendly Spitfire. Lovely. Very loud 91 is a surface find and uh, I reckon it's a button or something or similar or... It's down there look. Oh, I haven't said that. I don't think it's a button. Uno momento, I will spritz and I'll be right back. Well, that, ladies and gentlemen, is in fact a coin. 
got the coin sound but I'm afraid it's nothing readable unfortunately so as someone else often says it's a coin of nothingness do we do we want a live one just to pick out some rubbish <laughs> most repeatable 73 74 Finishes about there. Oops. Mm. Still high. Seventies. Yeah, a little pistol shot. Haven't found one of those for a while. There you go. Little pistol shot. Just to prove the contrast between the sumo land and the normal stubble, I guess it's about eight inches. So, although this stubble ain't too bad, you can uh, knock it out of the way, but <laughs> far easier to go on this soil. So which would you prefer? Stubble or C-mode? I think this is my Spitfire. I don't know whether you can see it but you will hear it. It's right overhead. Lovely. Right, where was I? I was digging a hole, I wasn't going to do it live. Seeing as the camera's on, we'll do it live. Alright, that's out. Oops, I think I can see it's a 80, high 70s, 80. And if I'm not much mistaken, down there, uh, I thought it was nope, stone. Oh well, yep. that just proves my eyes don't work. Oh, I got it. Still flagging up 80, 82. This soil is lovely. Oh dear, looks like. The right number is the right sound, but unfortunately, as you all will come across fairly regularly, lead. There's a 75 bang on there, and uh, well, I don't know, it's sort of a bit of trash really, but it's something. There's some detail on there. Let me have a quick spritz. Still reading on the wiser, although there is detail on that. I don't know if you can see that on camera. It's uh, plain at the back but I don't know, it looks like a little face but I'm sure it isn't. I don't know, are they two eyes and a nose? <laughs> I'll take a picture and include it. You should be seeing it right now. Right, 85 in that there hole. Just going to give you a a quick plug. Now why on earth is a plug, what's it doing in the middle of the field? Pray tell. And what I have in my hand, I nearly never dug up. Far too loud. 98 on remote. It's got to be trash, hasn't it? Got to be rubbish. But, oh, thank goodness for that. Here it is. Now, I've got a quick look. I think we have a cartwheel. Penny, is it? It's 1779. I can see 
Britannia written around the edge. I can see Britannia sitting, pointing or looking to the left. Uh, on the back, it's, it's more difficult. There is writing on there. It says George. I think, I think it's a cartwheel. I'm not sure, but 98, 99, which is unbelievable. So here's the picture. What do you think? Add. That was a teeny, teeny, teeny faint signal and that was a good eight inches down when we got her out it just blew your cans off right i got a got a 69 Ooh, misses i thought oh i buttoned it don't think it's very old but it's got some detail on it i can't make it out it's a bird or something but i don't think that's old because there's a <laughs> i think there's a little trademark little registered circle down there so Probably a modern thing. I'm pleased to report another coin, but sadly I have spritzed. It's got all straw and stuff stuck to it, so I don't really know what it is at the moment. I'll have to have a good soak when I get back, but the coin sound rings true. So, coin has some description, but I just can't get through the mat of straw. But it was a surface find, it was just like there. Well, not like that, but land like that. Here endeth this adventure. Taking longer than I anticipated because the ground is so fluffy and light over there. Although there wasn't a fantastic amount of really good signals to dig, I did dig signals. I've got mainly buttons, three, possibly four coins. The big old cartwheel penny, I think, is the pick of the bunch today. I'll show you the rest of them in a minute. Yeah, it's been good. Uh, it's nice to get out on the ground that hasn't got 10 inches of stubble on. There you go, this is the, I think, cartwheel penny. I'm uh, using a manual focus. So, I don't know what's the matter with the auto, but it don't know want to work. Um, this is the other randomness. Again, I'm trying to do manual focus while getting bitten by a mozzie. That's me pistol shot ball there I'll never be able to work for the BBC will I and there'll be various buttons there and there's one teeny teeny tiny one I'll turn it over that must be the record for today again if I can get her in focus it'll be a miracle and it's got writing on so I'll do a picture of it anyway so sorry about the focus right that wraps it up. That's the total haul for today. As I said, thanks for coming with me. And as always next time. But I should be hitting this field again because apparently it's not been finished sumoing or sumoed and it's not gonna be drilled for a while. So I should be back. So see you in the next video.